I'm going to read you the statement of purpose from a student who got into UCLA's Masters of Environmental Engineering program. There's a lot of things that work really well about this for a STEM statement of purpose that I want to share with you all. There's great storytelling elements and really connecting to what, what this person cares about and what they want to do. So I'm going to talk through some of those elements that you can apply to your own statement of purpose. To keep these videos coming, please like and subscribe. You can also sign up for my newsletter where you can download a version of this essay so you can reference it in the future and my other sample essays. Let's dive in. Right off Montgomery Station in San Francisco, there is a grand staircase leading into the lobby of the One Post building. Upon entrance, large stone panels greet passerbys at the wall of the lobby. These pieces of architecture mark one of the most challenging and fulfilling years of my life. However, as our world continues to develop, we must be prepared to address the environmental and social implications construction will have on our lives. With a master's in environmental engineering, I plan to work adjacent to this industry to seek out solutions to ensure its impacts are not inherited by the following generations. What's great about this as an intro paragraph is the person starts with some storytelling and we know upfront what they care about. They care about the impacts that engineering has on the environment and we get that right up front. One of the mistakes I see in a lot of STEM SOPs is people are very generic and we don't really understand what the person cares about and they just kind of go through their resume. But here up front, we're getting a value statement right at the beginning. I first developed my excitement for construction at one post. Within months, my entire project team was either fired or quit. In spite of its turbulent nature, this project presented a significant growth opportunity. It taught me the rigors of working in construction and awarded me leadership opportunities that I sometimes felt unprepared for. After the departure of my previous team, I sacrificed weekends and comfort to assume these roles. Despite being the only woman and among the youngest, I managed my project's budget and led meetings. This experience helped me develop the perseverance to solve complex problems and inspired me to tackle larger scale problems in the industry. This is a great reflective paragraph that I often talk about where you want to talk about not just what you did, but what you learned, how you grew in those experiences. So in this paragraph, we see that this person is a leader and there's someone who could persevere and overcome challenges. Like when their team was fired, they were valuable enough to stay there and then continue to be one of the project leaders. And being the only woman on this project, they show that they are unique in their abilities in this group. The construction industry contributes to nearly 40% of carbon emissions in the U.S. Our understanding of this industry's impact has developed over time. For example, concrete's production leaves a detrimental carbon footprint, yet it's one of the most important materials on my job site. Its strength makes it a valuable structural element in infrastructure. This contrast poses an important challenge. I believe in the construction industry to be more environmentally conscious. However, changes must be implemented in order to do so. Obtaining a master's in environmental engineering will enhance my abilities to propose these solutions. In addition to the environmental impacts, construction can have deleterious effects on surrounding communities. I worked as a field engineer at the SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, a historically low-income neighborhood. I attended a town hall meeting during which the community members discussed the negative impacts construction had on their businesses, homes, and livelihood. Although noise, traffic, and dust control were my company's primary concerns, I witnessed gentrification's long-term effects on the community go unaddressed. My company's inability to recognize this instilled in me a desire to study how policy can mandate societal changes for social good. These two paragraphs are excellent because they really highlight the underlying social issues that this person cares about and how they see engineering as a field. And you'll notice that they're talking about things that engineers often don't think about, like, you know, gentrification and the implications that construction has on a neighborhood. And so as an emissions committee reader, I would be thinking about this person like, wow, they have a unique lens. They have a unique point of view. There's someone who's really thinking about how the field can expand and change the way it does things. And so that makes me as the reader see this person as unique and want them to join the program to bring in that perspective into the field of structural engineering. 
you'll see that this essay is not a lot about, you know, what the person did in this project. If you look at their resume, you'll see it's packed with lots of experience that this person has had. But in this essay, we're getting a sense of who they are and what they care about and how they see the field of engineering. And this is something that's often missing when I read a lot of STEM proposals where people talk about all these details of what they did, but they're not actually giving us like a real point, like what's the point of all of that? And that's something you really need to watch out for in a STEM proposal. UCLA's program particularly interests me because of the extensive course offerings. Reinforced concrete structural elements and physics of environmental transport will help me gain an understanding of problems in construction and provide me the resources to propose solutions. I'm interested in learning about Professor Sant's work on developing sustainable materials for infrastructure and Professor Mahanti's research in sustainable urban development. I am eager to study alongside the diverse students and faculty who will prepare me to work towards bridging the gap between engineering and policy change to solve the problems inherited by my generation. In this conclusion, the person brings it back to why UCLA, they tie in their values again and wrap it all up very nicely. This essay is only 500 words and we really get a sense of who this person is and what they care about in a very concise amount of space. To summarize, what makes this a great statement of purpose for a STEM program is it really gives us a sense of who the person is and what they care about and what is their unique lens or unique point of view, which I sometimes call your personal monopoly. Don't make the mistake of just being very generic and very bland and regurgitating what is on your resume. Really tie it back to what you care about, how you've grown, barriers and things you've overcome in the field, and how you want to contribute your skills in the field, and what are your goals in the field. So make sure that comes out in your SOP and let your resume be the space where they can see all the different things that you've done in your career. And you can come to my office hours where I give live feedback on essays. You can also download this essay and my other sample essays when you sign up for my newsletter so you can go back and reference it as you're working on your SOP. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. It encourages me to keep going with this YouTube thing. 